Hi everyone, my name is Parul. Welcome to my channel Parul English Lab. This video is a part of imitation series. In this video, we are going to practice speaking in English. And in this lesson, you will also learn some important words and phrases that you can use at the airport. So let's start our today's session. So here is a dialogue at the airport and the process is same. First, I will speak the dialogue and you have to observe the pronunciation, intonation, voice, pitch, modulation, pronunciation, everything and then it will be your turn. So let's start our practice. Hi, I would like to check in for my flight. Hello sir, may I know where are you flying to? I'm going to Paris and have you checked in online already? Yes, I have, but I was wondering if I could change my seat because I have an aisle seat and I really want a window seat if that's possible. Let me check, sir. Can I have your passport? Yes, of course. Let me check if there is another seat available. Yes, that can be done. Oh, great. Here is your passport and the boarding pass. Your flight leaves from gate A3 and boarding will begin at 12.30 a.m. Thank you so much for your help. Do you have any bags to check in? Well, I've just got a suitcase and a carry-on bag. Please place your suitcase on the scale. All right, so now you're ready to leave. Enjoy your trip. Are there any small things like keys, batteries or liquid in your bag? No, I've just got my cell phone and my wallet in there. Please put these items in the yellow bin and walk through the scanner. Mr. James, could you show me your boarding pass please? Here you go. Please walk through this tunnel. It will take you directly to the plane. Thank you. So that was the dialogue at the airport. Now it's your turn. The process is same. First, I will read the first dialogue and then it will be your turn. So now let's not waste any more time and start the practice. Hi, I would like to check in for my flight. Hello, sir. May I know where are you flying to? I'm going to Paris and have you checked in online already? Yes, I have, but I was wondering if I could change my seat because I have an aisle seat and I really want a window seat if that's possible. Let me check. Can I have your passport? Yes, of course. Thank you. Let me check if there is another seat available. Yes, it can be done. Oh, great. Here is your passport and the boarding pass. Your flight leaves from gate A3 and boarding will begin at 12.30 a.m. Thank you so much for your help. Do you have any bags to check in? Well, I've just got a suitcase and a carry-on bag. Please place your suitcase on the scale. All right, so you are ready to leave. Enjoy your trip, sir. Thank you. Are there any small things like keys, batteries or liquid in your bag? 
No, I've just got my cell phone and my wallet in there. Please put these items in the yellow bin and walk through the scanner. Mr. James, could I see your boarding pass please? Here you go. Please walk through this tunnel. It will directly take you to the plane. Thank you. Good job. You are doing really well. Please practice speaking because this will, this imitation practice will actually improve your speaking skills. So please practice. You can imitate anyone. You can watch my videos. You can imitate me. You can imitate an actor. You can imitate the songs. So this will really enhance your speaking skills. Now we have practiced and I really want to give you some more words related to the airport just to enhance your vocabulary. First thing after reaching the airport, you will go to the check-in counter. There you are going to do two things. Number one, you will get your boarding pass. Now boarding pass is a pass that has details like flight number, seat number, where your flight will start from, etc. And second is uh, you will check in your luggage. Now the suitcases, your luggage that directly goes to cargo hold. Cargo hold is the place underneath the aeroplane where the luggage is kept. So the luggage, the suitcases that are checked in, that is called checked in luggage that goes in the cargo hold and the bags that you want to carry onto the plane, those are called carry on bags. Okay. Now next is security tag. So you'll get security tags to put on your carry on luggage. Now next is bridge. Bridge takes you directly onto the plane and sometimes you have air stairs to get on to the plane. Then cabin. Cabin is the area inside the plane except for the cockpit. Cockpit is the area where uh, the pilot, co-pilot sit and apart from that area inside the plane, that is all cabin. That's why uh, people who work in the plane like air hostess, stewards, flight attendants, they all are called cabin crew. Next is window seat, middle seat and aisle seat. So aisle is the area where you walk inside the plane. So seat next to the aisle is called an aisle seat, the corner seat. Then if there are three seats, then you have a middle seat as well and then the window seat. Now if you want to be comfortable, you should take an aisle seat because then you can walk around, you can stretch and if you want to take pictures then it's better you should go for a window seat. Next is armrest where you can rest your arm with the seat that's an armrest. There are window shades if it's really sunny or bright outside and you want to sleep then you can pull down your window shades. Gallery. So this is an area where flight attendants prepare food and drinks. Then trolley. They bring the food and drinks in the trolley. Next is safety card. Safety card is the card that tells you do's and don'ts at the time of an emergency. And this is kept in uh, the seat pocket in front of you. Next is seat belt. We are supposed to fasten our seat belts at the time of takeoff and landing. And sometimes when there is turbulence or the weather is not good and turbulence is when our plane shakes so most of the people don't like that even i personally don't like that so turbulence when your plane shakes now there are some signs there's a sign of seat belt when it is on you're supposed to fasten your seat belts then no smoking sign is there and call lights are there if you press that then the flight attendants will come and ask you if you need something. Last is air sickness bag or puke bag or vomit bag. Some people call it barf bag. So this is a bag you can ask for it if in case you feel pukish. So sometimes people feel pukish on heights. So you can ask for pukish bag. So that's all for this video. I have shared a lot of information with you. I hope this will help. 
Now keep watching, stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That's all for today. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you for watching my videos. If you find them helpful, please like and share with your friends. Feel free to leave comments. Do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to receive a notification for the new videos. Thank you. Take care and have a great day.